Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you about some issues I had with my ND2 V2 and how I solve those issues. So let's start. Okay, first let's see what those issues were. The first issue was a problem of uh, extrusion. I did not have enough uh, a filament that was extruded. And when I went, uh, when I checked the nozzle, I noticed that the nozzle was clogged with filament and the PTFE tube was also burned on its end. The second problem was uh, a problem of uh, bed leveling. I could not level correctly the bed simply because the springs were not vertical, they were bent, and it was blocking the bed. It could not move correctly, so it was difficult for me to, to level the bed. The third issue is related to the belt tensioner, the x-axis belt tensioner. In fact, while I was uh, uh, tensioning it, the, it broke out. The, the screw got out of its retaining hole, and I could no longer tension the belt. So I will show you how I fix those issues. First, fixing the clogged nozzle. This is a, a, a process you can see, for example, in the videos on the, on the channel of Creality. I will, I will put the link in the, in the description. First thing to do is set the nozzle, set the hot end temperature to 230 degrees. And it must be noted that during the whole cleaning process, the hot end must not cool down. Second step, remove the filament completely. Third step, remove the PTFE tube from the extrude and the hot end by unscrewing the, by, by removing the screws. Next step, you cut away the burnt end of the PTFE tube, it's no longer, it's no longer useful and then remove the hot end cover and unscrew the nozzle next step you can use a short piece of ptfe tube and a towel to clean the remaining filament inside the heat break that's very simple you just insert it inside the heat break and you push it back and forth while cleaning cleaning the the tube with with a with a towel and until you see no more uh, filament in the inside next now i screwed my new 0.4 millimeter nozzle i placed back the ptfe tube on both side place back the hot end cover and i push some filament in the tube and check if it is extruded correctly and of course it was extruding correctly so and this is done for for this issue second solution that is fixing the blocking bed first i unscrew the four nuts and remove the bed completely then i added nuts on the screws and here i use a square to make sure that all four screws are correctly placed on the bed with a 90 degree angle it should have a 90 degree angle between the screw and the bed just to make sure that everything is is right then i add the spring guides i have downloaded these spring guides on thingiverse i you also have the the link in the in the description i insert the spring guides just on top of the of the nut then i insert the springs in the spring guides after i place back the bed on its support and make sure that it's moving smoothly and then i finally screw the four adjusting knobs and level the bed and that's done for for this issue too now for for the broken belt tension what i did First, I unscrewed the belt tension and removed the bearings. Uh, then I drilled a hole at the place of the notch that was holding the screw. That's the 
small circle the small hole you see here that's where the screw was 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 inserted then i i drilled a hole inside at that part then i insert a longer screw because the first screw that came with the printer was too 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 short when i insert that screw it won't be possible to 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 have in i won't have enough length to add uh, to insert it in the in the tensioner itself and also the the head of the screw was too too large so i decided to change it and use a a longer screw then i tighten it with a with a nut on the other side here then i insert back the bearing and put back the belt tensioner and here also you see, as you can see on the picture uh, it's it's long enough to hold the the, the, the nut and you're done for this for this uh, problem too.